where they where they, you know they 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 get all nervous and everything Six hours at the ago. stable is a sign to them what was going on. November twentieth, twenty twenty two. They shall come with weeping and with supplication. I will lead them. I will cause them to walk by rivers of waters in a straight way wherein they shall not stumble. I am become a father to Israel and Ephraim is my firstborn. I will lead them. I will cause them to walk by rivers of waters in a straight way wherein they shall not stumble. I am become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Become a father to Israel. Could there be this time of year with this heightened satanic, uh, cultic type stuff going on? Can demonic it's spirits it's be it's loose? It's something to think about. Really. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I'm just throwing that one out there for folks. But, uh, you know, uh, look, the Bible told us in the last days strange things would happen, fearful sights. Uh, be t uh, okay. Things that we, the matter of fact, it even says in Revelation that there'd be people who would be killed by the beast of the earth. Okay. Now that could be animals. That could also be from is my firstborn. Are you serious? <laughs> I feel like Paul Bagley right about now. <laughs> oh my goodness! Listen here. Let me show you something. All right, first let me see what I, I got some notes here. I want to make sure I don't miss out anything here. All right. Jeremiah. Um, are you serious? I feel like Paul Bagley right about now. Calling from the center of the earth, you know, the Apollyon and, and then the release. So what I was saying was... Oh my goodness. Just to show my comment, he likes to give shout outs, thumbs ups, and I, I really appreciate that. And it was great tapping in live. Seven I like tapping in live with Paul Bagley. Are you serious? I feel like Paul Bagley right about now. Mm, you feel just like Paul Begley. So six hours ago, November 20th, 2020. So let me go to the channel and refresh it. Now playing. So six hours ago. And then my video today. Refresh that one. <clears throat> Ryan Hall, y'all said something about seven hours ago so my video was done seven hours ago Stephen Benoon's video was finished six hours ago which means whatever i said in my video here is what came up is what publicly publicly went on to youtube and then everything that's going to be said in Stephen Benoon is an hour after my video was uploaded and this video is 40 minutes long. So that would mean it would have to have been done. 40 minutes time to upload exactly one hour before. I mean, exactly one hour after my video was finished. So like I did with Jacob Israel and the same thing I did with Paul Begley. I'll show you the amount of subscribers that they have. 396,000. Paul Begley, 359,000. Strange things would happen. Fearful sights. Uh, be t okay. Things that we... The matter of fact, it even says in Revelation that there would be people who would be killed by the beast of the earth. In Philly. Okay, now that could be animals.
just a, a, a recognition of the comet and the perfect timing of saying that people will be killed by the beast of the earth. And then with Steve Benoon, similar amount, and also something, something. I mean, Jacob Israel is almost at 200. And what I've shown the first video was Paul Begley back and forth. And then I showed you the next one was Jacob Israel. Everything that he said in his video, I felt like I said it in my video. Not that I felt like it, that I proved that I did. I so I went back to my video and I showed that these are just the things that are being discussed. And then I hear the same exact things being discussed, like having a dream about uh, Elon Musk. But I was saying it was Jacob slash Elon and then, so likewise, today I'm going to show you the same thing between myself and what I was talking about in this video here seven hours ago. And then what Steve Benoit was talking about in his video six hours ago, which would give him exactly 40 minutes to make a video, get the mines done, and then render it and upload it and have it out there. Because other than that, it's just going to be some more coincidences. What is a coincidence? Everyone, this is John. If you believe in coincidences, this video is not going to be for you because I don't believe in coincidences. I okay, so John Quentin Wise says he doesn't believe in the coincidences. So a coincidence is something, it's a remarkable concurrence of events. Uh, or circumstances without apparent casual connection. So these are all these circumstances that have apparently no casual connection, as if there's no connection whatsoever. They met by coincidence. So it's an accident, a chance, serendipity, fate, a twist of fate, destiny, Fortitude, fortune, providence, freak hazard, a good piece of fortune, a bit of luck, a fluke, a uh, happy chance, hap, hap stance. Similar correspondence, agreement, accord, match, fit, consistency, harmony. Correspondence in nature or in time of occurrence. The coincidence of interest between the mining companies and certain politicians. So let's take a look at some more coincidences. I like tapping in live with first thing. Paul Begley. Paul Begley. Six Are you serious? I feel like Paul Bagley right about now. Yeah. Okay. Things that we, the matter of fact, it even says in Revelation that there'll be people who'll be killed by the beast of the yeah, earth. That's just one name. Paul Begley was mentioned in my video, was mentioned in his video. No big deal. Just a coincidence that you mentioned the same person. Praying out loud so Satan can hear you pray to him. The true father is... What I was saying earlier, that, that wasn't part of my... I should have uh, waited until I pushed record... Well, what I'm saying earlier was is in spirit and you communicate with the father through you can pray in your head but on the YouTube platform because it has to be literal and spiritual connected when you pray out loud to the father 
the communication is what proves the father's existence God wherein they shall not stumble I am become a father to Israel and Ephraim is my firstborn if nothing else it's just maybe we're thinking of the, on the same lines maybe we're, we're thinking the same things at the same time and or it's something that was listened to and then talked to like bouncing it back and forth the idea you hear what someone says, just like I do. I do time stamps from what they say. But whatever it is that I'm saying, they'll do a time stamp. And what's talked about is the same thing. And then what I'll do is I'll take that same time stamp that I did or they did, confirm it as a confirming witness. And that's how this works. So next so mainly today, one of my topics was talking about Steve Benoon. The guy. He's like the godfather. And Steve Benoon seems to have that role as well, like the Abraham in the Bible. The idea, though, is what I want to look at. So we'll, we'll just we'll base it on that, the premise that he's saying that all that house of Israel is going to come. Well, here we have right here. We are now in the book of, uh, I believe we're in Isaiah chapter 10, if I remember right. Let me just quick look. Again, have compassion on us. He will subdue our iniquities and you will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Wow, that's amazing, right? And you will show faithfulness to Jacob, mercy to Abraham, as you have, have, uh, sh have sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. Now, that and Steve Benoon seems to have that role as well, like the Abraham. And you will show faithfulness to Jacob, mercy to Abraham, as you have have uh, sh have sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. Now, that's just from Micah. And again, uh, he said Micah 17. He could have been talking about Zechariah or some, uh, something. I, no, not even Zechariah. has only got 14 chapters. So not really sure where he come from on that. But the idea, though, is what I want to look at. So That could mean juxtaposing positions like Isaac or Abraham. Someone seems like Abraham, but it's really Isaac, because Isaac is the one that has Jacob and uh, and Esau, Jacob Israel and uh, Harry, Herod, King Herod, Esau, Herod, uh, Steve, uh, Stephen James over there with his brother Jacob. Because it's Abraham, then it's Isaac, and then it's Jacob. The God of Abraham, first Isaac, and then Jacob, last. I am Jacob Israel, and we are in for quite the show. <laughs> I finally come across something of a change of a matter. I'll speak about it, and then I'll, I'll walk it out. I'll stumble and forget and then get back on track again. I hear you. I'm done being offended with anybody who's lying because it's just a damn movie script. I get the Yep, just like Jacob said. Just a front guy, just a, just a man. Just, you know, I'll get offended, Rob, and I'm... Can't you hear me, stupid? And you will show faithfulness to Jacob. Mercy to Abraham as you... Again, the, the topics of what's being talked about of a land than this on earth and being named the Heavenly Father. So to me, that represents Abraham in the system, this system here. Chapter 31, let's go right into it. Don't forget, it is a remnant. As he quotes from Jeremiah 31, 31, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, for as much as they broke my covenant, although I was Lord over them, said the Lord.
But according to verse 30, behold, the position higher elevated of a land than this on earth and being named the heavenly father. So to me, that represents Abraham in the system. This system here, Abraham would be the heavenly father, the one that literally runs heaven. And then he's down here. He has his YouTube channel. He's still looking out for his, his, uh, his children. Yeah, it's about the same topic. Not necessarily the person itself could be, but the topic. The old to the to, to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them up out of the to bring them out of the land of Egypt. What was that? That was the the Torah. I think whoever Isaac is, you got Abraham, then you got Isaac, and then so whoever Isaac is is the one that gives birth to Jacob, gives birth to Esau's career on the YouTube platform. Isaac would be like the manager or the or the creator. Uh, Abraham could be the owner. Isaac could be the, the manager or, or the one that, you know, runs it and and then gives birth to somebody else's YouTube channel like Jacob, like Jacob Israel. He got his channel birthed, which would make uh, Isaac his father. Save the remnant of Israel. Well, you know what's what's interesting? Jeremiah knows the prophecy of Isaiah. Only a remnant of them shall return. Right? Not the whole nation. Not every single person that's the house of Israel is going to come in and recognize, but only a remnant would recognize them or would recognize the Messiah. Behold, I will bring them from the north country. So again, everything... This is an hour beforehand, seven hours ago, six hours ago. So there's an hour difference between my upload and Steve Benoon's upload and the topics talked about in both videos. And then the North Star, is that you, Steve? Are you, are you up there, the highest star? Steve. Steve. Yeah. Behold, I will bring them from the North Country. North, country north, star reference. What what country was that? Babylon. Then wouldn't that make King Nebuchadnezzar from Babylon coming from the north, the north star, the north country coming down? Babylon. You 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 also have Cyrus wanting to bring the people back. So you got Nebuchadnezzar, you got Cyrus, you got Darius, you got Artaxerxes. It's like the four winds of heaven, probably. You got you got Mars that hangs low. Jacob Israel talks about Mars a lot. You have the North Star, which is coming from the north, which is the brightest star. So you get the Red Star, and then you got the North Star coming from the north. And then you got the sun, you got Lucifer is the lighter, lesser light that rules the night. And then you got the sun, which represents the Christ, the sun, but that's Ra. Ra God made the sun. And then the moon, I don't know if it's a light bulb or if it's really a place. It'd be pretty cool, though, where it's like the Truman Show where Christophilus was up in the moon. So I would just assume that represents Lucifer, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just all, you know, it, my channel is just purely. Uh, this is the Patriot Power Sidekick, and it's going to help me power all of this right here in the middle of nowhere. This. I'm telling you, there's something, there's something. There's no, you know, my channel is like Jacob Israel's channel, just merely speculation meant for entertainment and spiritual encouragement to those of you that like to take everything that I say in my video as I'm saying it, make a video about it, talk about it, help me understand it more, and that's the proof that God is working between everybody, making that happen. I will bring them from the North Country. 
And then the what, North what Star. What country was that? Is Babylon. They had been taken are by into you, Babylonian captivity up in Iran. Are you up there? And it was. Star. Are you up there? The highest star. Artaxerxes, you had um, Cyrus and Darius. All right. Artaxerxes, Cyrus. Artaxerxes, Cyrus, you had Darius, Darius. Inverted the truth. Oh, my God. I mean, ooh. <laughs> so between Artaxerxes, Darius. We're going to see you just face to face. Look for that. Okay, and again, uh, thanks for watching. Search our channel for more cool stuff. And you're going to be Later. bagging me. If you want to find this item, click the link me. in the description. In no particular order has already enslaved you, which allows you to then be sucked into making your life even more miserable by falling for go. all of this nonsense too, and not trusting God, the provider, who will open up the heavens. You do the right thing. You are all of my, all of my uh, finalists. Cylinder, remember the Cyrus cylinder, and what it says on the Cyrus cylinder. What does it say on your cylinder? King Cyrus wanted to return all the peoples back to their lands, including the Jews. Not just the Jews, but including the Hittites, Perzites, Jebusites, <clears throat> Ammonites. As so Cyrus is going to be doing that. And then Darius, Artaxerxes, and King Nebuchadnezzar comes from the north. So there's the, there's the four right there. Well, and and Enoch and Elijah and, and um, you know, and and you've discovered some uh, very realistic things. I'll just tell you. Let me make this stuff up where... And you saw it. So what you're saying, you can't make this stuff up that you were... All right. So next. Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. And then how many different people, so, how many different famous heads is Steve Benoon? Because I've, I've, 20, 20, 22. I've sensed that he's a, quite a few of them, like Vladimir Putin, always talking about, pointing in his direction. Um, Queen Elizabeth, I snapped a picture when he, was showing her at one time, and it just looks like that may be, I mean, she's definitely behind a mask. There's no, that's just a, an old wrinkle bag. But then the woman that is travailing with a child. What do you know? Remember Elizabeth Six hours ago. Seven hours ago. Bore John six months before Jesus was born. Harabi, you let, you let it. Harabi, you let, you let it. Harabi, you let it. I mean, I didn't even realize it. But when it said, her that travaileth with child, the woman with a child, in other words, the child's already born. That's an interesting truth right there. You think travaileth with child. Look, so the, here's what it says. It says, the woman with child and her that travaileth with child together, great company shall they return. When he's saying with child together, well, that's like John and Jesus together, travailing with child already, because it's the, the child's already born. It's not travailing inside your stomach. It's Although this is the birthing womb system, 
And then this is what it means when God is being merciful to someone. Things could be done there. All right, so we're going to break this down. And and God has really been very merciful to me in Jeremiah 31 and showing me some amazing things. I really trust it's going to be a major blessing for you. Let's listen. This is John. What's that, John? You don't what? If you believe in coincidences, this video is not going to be for you because I don't believe in coincidences. I believe in Father's divine plan. Okay, so none of these are could possibly be coincidences. Hour before. But he knows that all he's going to do is stand up in the synagogue, the sin of God, like Magog, Gog and Magog, sin. These synagogues, these YouTube channels, platforms. Synagogues. Uh, you know, Mark Belt's no different. He's doing the same, which, of course, they're very close friends. He's at his church here speaking, or, or I believe they consider that a synagogue, uh, you know, but... Uh, But I would love to see the end result where Before. he's going to the cross as if he's going to be crucified. But he knows that all he's going to do is stand up in the synagogue, the sin of God, like Magog, Gog and Magog, sin. And the same, which, of course, they're very close friends. He's at his church here speaking, or, or I believe they consider that a synagogue. Uh, These synagogues, these YouTube channels, platforms, synagogues. There was Christ rejected though the first time. When you come to this synagogue, YouTube channel, YouTube platform, then you have synagogues. By his own brethren? When he was in the womb of his mother and they come to a hotel and they weren't allowed to stay at the hotel, but they were made to go down there to a stable. Who are you, clown? And then he's like, well, my father sent me. Well, we know who your father is. It's Joseph and Mary. Or maybe it was, maybe it was Joseph and. Joseph and Mary. John. Six months before Jesus was born. Mary is coming back with Joseph from Egypt, greatly travailing with a child. In the beginning, yep. Elizabeth, what do you know? Remember Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Bore John. Six months before Jesus was born. Father sent me. Well, we know who your father is. It's Joseph and Mary. Or maybe, maybe it was, maybe it was Joseph and. Mary is coming back with Joseph from Egypt, greatly travailing with a child. The opposite. So we just want to kind of first establish that. Now, let's go back to the video. I want to continue to play a little bit more here. When uh, Lilith walked in, or whatever her name is, Gene oh. Rebel was showing you that that was Lilith. And then tying that in to John the Cleck saying, Adam fornicated with Lilith. And that's who he believes, Lilith. And Lilith was above his head. Seeing these positions. So we see nowhere scripturally does it give us that inclination like Mark says, but just the opposite. Oh my goodness. He knows that all he's going to do is stand up in the synagogue, the sin of God, like May God. And he goes up and they're looking to crucify him. And then he just goes in and reads his Isaiah 61. Before and after. 
Oh my goodness. And they shall not pine anymore at all. In other words, they shall not weep. Isaiah 61. The first two chapters and then he shuts the book. And then they will be they shall then shall the virgin rejoice and dance and the young men and the old together and I will turn their mourning into joy and I will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. Why are they sorrowful? Because they the, because the serpent race there crucified the Lord. I didn't have time to find the scripture. Do you know that that because I used to think that Isaiah 61 was not completely fulfilled uh, because Jesus stopped when he said uh, to proclaim the year of the Lord's good pleasure. And then he closed the book, puts it down, and said, this day, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. We couldn't read the next part, the day of vengeance of our God, and to comfort all that mourn, because that had not been fulfilled yet. He had not been crucified yet. To point That's to my point. He hadn't, he hadn't been crucified yet. So he's going to go up, and he's going to read it, because there's a Two different types of crucifixions, spiritual and in a, a literal, uh, made to believe it's going to be literal. ...of our God, and to comfort all that mourn, because that had not been fulfilled yet. He had not been crucified yet. But as you're looking at it, Christ is going to get ready to read Isaiah 61. He's going... To get ready to get crucified. He had not been crucified yet. He's going to read Isaiah 61. He hasn't been crucified yet. Because that's the crucifixion. Just crossing over. Crossing paths. Is how I've interpreted it uh, correctly. So. Synagogues, these YouTube channels, platforms, synagogues, say unto uh, uh, to have another. How long has it been in existence for? I don't, I don't know. The chosen uh, series. But I would love to see the end result where he's going to the cross as if he's going to be crucified. I have time to find the scripture. Do you know that that, because I used to think that Isaiah 61 was not completely fulfilled. Uh, because Jesus stopped when he said uh, to proclaim the year of the Lord's good pleasure. And then he closed the book, puts it down, and said, This day, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. We couldn't read the next part, the day of vengeance of our God, and to comfort all that mourn, because that had not been fulfilled yet. He had not been crucified yet. But he knows that all he's going to do is stand up in the synagogue, the sin of God, like may God. To point to them that mourn in Zion to give unto them a garland for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning. Remember six hours ago? I haven't refreshed. I refreshed them both at the same time. I'm not going to keep refreshing them. Seven hours ago, which means my video was uploaded first, and then Steve Benoon had one hour to upload his video. And his video is a 40-minute video. Mine was 40, 47. And uh, all of these same references are being taught. What was the oil of joy? The Holy Spirit, when he breathed upon them and he said, Receive ye the Holy Spirit. That was after his resurrection. He does that to his apostles. Why did he do that? He was showing he was the same. Just like when, when, when God could. At the same time. It's at, it's at the resurrection. They, they have the Holy Spirit because he's been resurrected. He, he breathed upon them, his apostles, the breath of life, the Holy Spirit. But as he, he's go, coming to read, but he hasn't been crucified yet because he's getting ready to go to the crucifixion, which is just the cross, crossing over paths, crossing paths between the spirit and, and uh, literal. 
could make a man out of the dust of the earth and he breathed in his nostrils, he breathed in him the very breath of life and that, that man, that clay figure become a living nefesh chaya. But he breathed in him he breathed into him from the Eitz Chaim, the very tree of life. He breathed into him the life in a plural form because both Adam and Eve were in that body. In a plural form because both Adam and Eve were in that body. So both Adam and Eve were in that body. It was maybe... As I'm looking at Mary and Joseph, Adam and Eve... It was Joseph, and knowing the male-female system, Joseph turned to Mary and then had you, like Lilith. But Adam himself is referred to as a nefesh chaya, a singular soul. Nefesh. Nefesh chaya sounds like Nephilim. So as he's talking about a single soul, Adam and Eve, it's the male-female system, two and one. And then Jesus comes on the way, and, and there's your oil of joy for mourning. And what did that scripture say? Let's go back to Jeremiah again. See? And to the wine, he did it at the wedding feast. He also does it at the, uh, at the communion table with his disciples. And to the oil, and to the, uh, and to the oil. There you go right there. There's your oil. Fulfilled. Jeremiah 11. Fulfilled. Where was it? The oil of joy. Instead of mourning. This has been so fulfilled, Jeremiah 31. And you're going to see it more fulfilled today than you've ever seen it before. Today is 12, 11 a.m. 11, 21, 2022. I'm only still up because I'm not going to work tomorrow. really consider these things because what God has done is amazing or would recognize the Messiah. Behold, I will bring them from the north country. And then the north star, is that you, Steve? Are you are you up there, the highest star? What, what country was that? Babylon. So we go on to read, they come from that north country, gather them from the uttermost parts of the earth and with them the blind and the lame. Watch this. And of course, we already know the scripture that says, the prophesied, right, about the blind, you know, that the, lame, the, 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 the blind are going to see, the lame would leap like a harp. Remember that? Jesus said when, when, when John come and ask, you know, when he's in prison and everything, are you the one or do we seek for another? He said, they said, go back and tell him, you know, the, 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 the blind receive their sight and, and the cripple are walking. In fact, it even says in Revelation that there will be people will be killed by the beast of the earth. Okay. Now that could be animals, that could also be other creatures. Gospel is preached to the poor. What more did he need to look for? I mean, even John, the apostle, didn't fully have the revelation that he was the Messiah. He would be the Messiah. Messiah would be just a man. Just a man. Just a man. Just a man. He's also, I'm telling you, that Adam Ben David, who would be the Messiah? Are you serious? Are you serious? I feel like Paul Bagley right about now. You can do this. Oh my. Call on the name of Jesus. Bless you, Robin's Hood. People are repenting. <laughs> People are repenting. <rededicated. laughs> Rolando wants to be saved. Praise God. I've been tending to you guys and looking out for you by myself and Jesse, my father. He just, he overlooked me. He didn't, he, uh, he picked Jacob Israel instead. Cut off his But isn't that so? No more authority of the beast. 
John the Baptist. He was the forerunner. He was still the religious man. He doubted. He wasn't Christ. He understood he wasn't Christ. Much like I know I'm not Christ. Christ is in me. I'm not Christ. You know, I'm the one that comes before Christ. Idea. And so I sincerely ask and, and cut my family. Uh, my wife definitely going through a hard time. And I'm sure some of you have already seen the video that uh, that was released that did talk about things that I have only alluded to. And still I'm not allowed to speak about things publicly as of yet. Well, I shouldn't say that. There has been permission granted, but it, the attorney has to be present in every um, every step that we do, whether it be written or uh, interview-wise. I, I want the truth to be known. I want, I want everybody who is, whoever they are, to finally just come clean and say, and then just basically... Like on Jacob uh, so channel. yes, things are going to begin to come out very, very soon. Uh, so we wanted to make sure you're aware of that too. Uh, and then on top of it, I get attacked like you have no idea, especially, especially when God has been so merciful to reveal some amazing things to me. And he has come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and they that are escaped to the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel in truth, and a remnant shall return, even a remnant of Jacob unto God the mighty, El Gibor, and the wealth of many, the father of many nations, Because he's the guy that has like the most subscribers, and he, and he's Stephen Noon is isn't denying that he was part of the CIA. I don't think you ever stop being part of the CIA when you're part of it. Up in a position higher, elevated of a land than this on Earth, and being named the Heavenly Father to God the Mighty. El Gibor for the represents Abraham in the system. This system here, Abraham would be the heavenly father, the one that literally runs heaven. Uh, but uh, for though thy people, O Israel, be as the sand of the sea. So in numbers, they're like the sand of the sea. Only a remnant of them shall return. We had an Edomite king. You're looking for Esau, the fulfillment of Esau. Mr. Shapiro, the fulfillment of Esau was, was none other than Herod himself. Esau, Herod, and then the reason why that reminds me of Stephen James is because he lives on Herod, Herod Road. I rebuke you. Don't and he rebukes me. So he rebuked me at least. Back, just kidding, Jamatria. December 20th. Do you remember back on 2018? Somewhere way back when I was rebuked by him. There's your Edomite king. I'm king. So we go on to read. They come from that north country, gather them from the uttermost parts of the earth, and with them the blind and the lame. Watch this. And of course, we already know the scripture that says that prophesied right about the blind. You know that the lame, the the the, the blind are going to see. The lame would leap like a harp. Remember that. Here we go. Matthew fifteen twenty four. But he answered and said, "I am not." What did Jesus say? All right, let me just pull this up. All right, uh, sent law sheet. Let me just do it like that, right? Here we go. Matthew 5. Matthew. Matthew. I'm not going to say you might be an agent trying to get people away from what Robin's saying. Not going to say that either. Lost sheep. Let me just do it like that, right? Here we go. 
Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right there. Mr. Shapiro, did you not, did you think Jesus didn't know who the lost sheep of the house of Israel are? The nations shall see and be put to shame for all their might. They shall lay their hand upon their mouth. Their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick up the dust like a serpent, like a crawling things of the earth. They shall come and tremble out of their close places. They shall come with fear unto the Lord our God and shall be afraid. They shall come with fear unto the Lord our God and shall be afraid because of you.